What is going on everybody? Burger Creation back here with another video. And before we get started on anything, I just want to thank you all for all the love and support through these past couple months. I think I started posting on the channel about two months ago now. And honestly, thank you all so much for the support. And I promise I'll keep the content coming. And let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section below. Also, make sure you check out my Etsy shop. It's etsy.com slash shop slash burger creations. Also, follow me on Instagram. It's burger.creations. And make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys get notified anytime I upload. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel, and I hope you all are doing well. Today, I have five useful prints that you can make with your 3D printer. All right, guys, I'm excited about this, and let's get into this. All right, guys, so the first print that we got is this carabiner. So this carabiner is about 10 grams and took just about over an hour to print. Uh, the Thingiverse number is 1819242. Honestly, this carabiner is just one of those really useful prints that you can have. It can be easily used as a clip to hold onto things, either to a backpack or to your belt, uh, belt loop. And it's just one of those things that is like a basic thing to have around. I mean, if you're just traveling around the city and you need to hook your water bottle onto your bag, you can do that with this. If you're going hiking and you need to hook something on, you can do this. If you just need to hook something together real quick temporarily, you can use this guy. I mean, this carabiner is just overall a useful, very useful print. And to be honest, it was an extremely easy print. I mean, just over an hour, it, only, it is only made up of two parts and it even makes a little acts like it has a spring with the tension between the plastic. Uh, it probably took about the least amount of film in all of these and it's just it's just an overall good useful print. So if you need something out there to print that's useful and to prove that you know 3D printing is not all about just printing junk, this might be the way to go. Alright guys, so the second 3D print that I got for you guys is this. So it might not be as easy to tell what this is from looking at this directly, but this is actually a phone stand. Now there's many different phone stands that you can find on Thingiverse. I chose this one specifically just because it kind of looks funny with a person holding up the phone. This print specifically takes about 21 grams of filament, took just about 3 hours, a couple of 17 minutes or so to actually make this, and was thing number 525066. So this phone stand is just an overall extremely useful thing. I mean, as iPhones and smartphones become more popular, we tend to use them more. I mean, I know I always have my phone pretty much whenever I'm at, and I know when I like to eat a meal, I also like to watch some content. So this phone stand is really great because I can prop up my phone and I can just watch anything. Uh, you can use this when you're doing FaceTime, watching movies, it's really just a good thing to have. And there's many types of phone stands you can make on Thingiverse. I just chose this one because it's just kind of funny that it's a person kind of holding up your phone. Alright, so this next print is actually, I think, one of my favorite prints out of this whole lineup here. Uh, so this is a can handle. So this guy actually attaches to a can. So that way you have a handle. Now this print was about 26 grams and took 3 hours and 55 minutes to print. And it, again, it's a one print, one item to print, a very simple, straightforward print. It's just extremely, extremely useful. That way, I mean, it just grabs onto your can and it doesn't fall off at all. You can shake it and it, it doesn't, it literally doesn't fall off. It's, it's great. So you put the can on by sliding the top lid into the notch first and then snapping into the bottom and then you do the opposite to get it off where you pull the bottom and it kind of slides right out to switch out to another can. This print is just one of those things that I saw and I'm like wow I never even thought that would be that would be something. I never even thought you could make this but it's just something really cool and really useful to have especially if you're you know hanging out with people and you don't want to hold a freezing cold soda can or you know beer. Really, it's just a great thing to have, and it's one of those simple, easy prints, and very useful one. All right, so the next print up we got is an outlet plate, except a bit of a twist. So this outlet plate actually has a built-in shelf, so you can place your phone on it when it's charging, or really anything that you need when it's charging. 
So this outlet is about 37 grams and it took about five hours and 22 minutes to print. So again, all these prints are under a day and only take a couple hours. And they're all extremely simple, but very useful prints. Now this outlet print is awesome for those wall outlets that you have kind of almost in the middle of the room where there's no tables or anything you can prop up. So your phone is either sitting on the floor or dangling a little bit depending on the position of your outlet. So it's awesome to be able to plug your phone in and then have it rest on top of this outlet so your phone is not just sitting on the floor or dangling. It's also great when charging cameras as well as even placing your Google Home devices right on top. I know Thingiverse has ones made just for the Google devices and outlet cover just for the Google devices or Alexa or anything. So it's really cool to have these and it really makes those useless outlets useful. And again, it's a simple print that can just be very useful with someone. See, 3D printing is not all about random crap, even though it's fun to print random crap. All right, so the last print we got is this guy. So now, if you don't know what this is, I don't blame you because it looks a bit confusing, but this is actually combines into a photo backdrop. Now this guy takes about 38 grams to print. It's, it's the longest print in this video that it takes about six hours and 42 minutes. This is thing 1671168. And it's just one of those prints that is extremely, extremely useful. I mean, I use this print so much. So this print is, it creates an infinite backdrop. And what I mean is if when you place a product or really any object within this backdrop with the paper behind it, it looks like one of those very fancy white backgrounds. So you can take almost professional photos for either your products or anything you're trying to show off. Now this print is really useful for people selling stuff online, for eBay or Etsy. I mean, I use these, these exact ones to make take my pictures on Etsy. If you see my Among Us pictures and some of the tur the end turkey ones showing the raw prints, that white backdrop was actually created with these guys, and it's simple to use. You just slip the paper right in between the two cracks, and then you add the two little clips to kind of push the top guy up. That way it presses the paper in place and it doesn't slip out. It's a very easy thing to use, and it is very useful if you're a seller or you're taking professional pictures of small objects, I mean, you can obviously print bigger ones. I only need his small one, so that's why I printed small. But it's just, again, a useful, useful print. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you found something interesting in this video or found something that you're interested in making. Uh, I just wanted to kind of make a video of five useful prints that I found on Thingiverse. I wanted to keep this episode very simple, just so they're quick, easy prints to do. I will be looking to continue this series in the future, adding more top five prints, or I guess not top five, but more five useful prints to make them more complex as we go. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want any more content, you can go check out all my other videos. I got a bunch of more content, new videos every Friday at 5 p.m. Be here or be square. Again, make sure you follow me on Instagram, check out my Etsy shop, Comment, like, and subscribe, and that's been it, guys.